I don't want to be a shakedown. I want to weigh this beast. They're barely screwed in the floor. Larry's very oh. sad we're not canoeing. Oh. What's up, base? Going up those stairs. Oh. Are you crazy? Squish mellow. I don't think it's supposed to be this squishy. I don't know what it is with us and hiccups. This is it. This is the first time we're taking this rig out for a spin other than bringing it from the dealership. And we are rusty. Yeah, we are four months we've been sitting. We haven't done that since the yeah. day we started. Even all those times I was sick, we moved more. Yeah. So this is our shakeout trip. We've got a four nights, right? Four nights at Silver Spring State Park. It's like an hour from where we are right yeah. now. It's a perfect way to do it. Um, we're actually going there because my sister you guys met um, in the Utah videos is here in Florida and we're also gonna uh, take some time to meet up with Doc Chris hopefully if you saw the videos when he was sick and we needed all that help moving yeah Doc um, moved us he moved us he moved us so um, it's not just we're rusty there's a lot of things that are different even though it's a fifth wheel again even though it's a grand design again there are a lot of differences yeah, we, uh, we, my main thing on this trip is mm. I want to weigh this beast mm. because we know we had about 2,000 pounds of cargo that we could put in it. And I think that we're over already and we haven't even got all of our full time. We still got some junk in the other mm. RVs, so we'll but, have to see. But I mean, we've got a lot in it and cross your fingers. That I've got a huge box of stuff I'm giving away. Uh, more stuff that's going in storage. So we are downsizing a little at a time. Yeah, well, we'll see how good we did downsizing when we get on the scale today. But the problem is Larry only got us two weeks left to empty the other RV and get the solar yeah, off. I get that, I got two weeks. We got the money, we got the money yesterday. I don't know, it actually hasn't hit the bank account yeah. yet. So we'll see, we got the money. We got two weeks to get all that stuff off of there. And then that's like another 500 pounds of stuff. I totally right. forgot about that. Oh my God, we better be, solar. we better be light today. Solar. Maybe we need less solar panels. Yeah, maybe we need to beef up that suspension system. Oh, we definitely need to do yeah. that. We were lucky to be parked somewhere where we could put both RVs side by side for the first day of moving. Are you ready, Scruffy? So Scruffy, this is your new home. What do you think? She's not going to like the stairs. I know that. We'll put her on the ground. Let her come up the stairs on her own. Okay, up. Come on. Up. Come on, baby. Up. You know, up. I ain't going up those stairs. Up. Are you crazy? Up. Come on. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Not as wimpy as our old dogs. Where is it? What is it? You gonna jump right up on the couch? Squirrel. 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 She said, like, oh, this little, feels I'm weird. Little, I'm a little uh, freaked out a little bit. Oh, Look at her. Okay. She looks a little worried. It's okay, honey. You okay, Scrappy? What do you think? She's like, it doesn't smell like other dogs or like me. I need to piss all over this thing. Always look at her with the breeze. Oh yeah, I piece my house. Scruffy approved. Scruffy, what do you think, Scruffy? You think it's good? Is it good? Is it good? Yeah? Okay. I do want a new bed, but Larry said no. <laughs> this thing weighs minimum 100 pounds. I don't know, more be more than that. See, if we need to lose weight, this would be a great way to lose weight, hon. This is like the hardest thing we had to move, too. Okay, I'm down here under the little table, and we're getting rid of this table. I'm putting my up desk in here. So let's uh, unscrew this thing and see what happens. See if I can uh, undo it. So now we got the spot where I'm gonna put my up desk. Let's see if we get to fit this baby in here. Okay, pulling up the up desk and bolted this thing down four years ago. <laughs> a little loose. A little loose over time. Ooh, a little rusty. It hasn't moved in four years, baby. And it's moving now. Why are we taking out the brand new theater seats from our brand new RV? Well, can you guess? The notorious cracked RV furniture is why. It's not RV anymore. <laughs> well, the couch okay. is. The RV, we could care less. You should doing it. Couch? Oh my God, he's not to do all like all by himself, buddy. Oh, friggin' A. <laughs> I didn't actually do it. George! Anything. This thing weighs at least 200 pounds. Okay. Larry, I just love it right here. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Larry's going to need a nap after this. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to need traction after this. Are you carrying it all, Larry? Yeah. Well, I've got he, my head. Yes, he is. So now we care if the RV gets banged up. Yeah, no. <laughs> going in is a lot harder than going out. See, last time we had like a 20 year old help us. We got a little bit of banging going on there, right? 
I don't think I got enough blood going on my brain right now. <laughs> Piece of cake. It just looks like it's barely going to make it as far as the slide goes, huh? Good Holy job, fudge. guys. Hey, George. Is that Hi, it? Hi, baby. Okay. Yeah. You're the man. That's not even everything. That's just that number of bins. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Got 18 bins here. I just been lazy. I haven't been going through this stuff. I'm sure there's tons of stuff in here that is just extra stuff that I don't need. But you know, there's lots of times where I have something I need to fix and it's so nice to have it with me than, you know, have to run out to the hardware store Sometimes we're like miles away from anything and there's no place. And if I've got all the screws or valves or, you know, pipes or connectors or electrical stuff, if I have it all with me, it just makes it uh, less stressful and so much easier to get stuff fixed. Okay, mostly Alice has been spending the day editing the next video, but now she's putting together the dish drainer thing because she doesn't want to be on film because normally there'd be a dishwasher right here, but there's no dishwasher. Okay, the final walk around on our first shakeout trip. This is important. This is like a, the most important oh. walk around ever. Oh yeah, you left the awning lights on? Oh my gosh, you left the awning lights no, on. No, you must have hit it with your button I, on I your app. Think, I think so. I think she, turned, she left the no, awning I lights on. No, I did not do that. <laughs> Are you going to blame my app? Yes, I'm blaming your app. It's in your pocket. Okay, it looks good. We gotta pay attention here. Okay, we're good. I think it looks good. We're leaving some of the stuff here for when we come back. But I'm pretty happy, honey. It looks good. Let's roll. First time filling up with this reflection behind me. I'm here at the Petro on the way to our first shakeout trip. Let's see how she looked truck stop here. Looks good. Okay, I'm doing the way here at the truck stop we'll see waymaster is verifying we'll see what happens here yep. are we gonna be good baby are we gonna be good are we gonna be good it looks okay only. gross twenty two thousand no don't tell the numbers <laughs> trailer ninety six forty that's not bad I think we're okay but our gross is 22,000, which isn't bad. It's 4,000 pounds less than we used to be. Okay, so there it is right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and weigh the truck because the weight of the truck has changed. So I really won't know the final verdict until I come back and uh, get the weigh on the truck. Now, the other thing I wanted to see while we're on these scales, because the scales are supposedly very level this is a good place to see if uh if it's riding so it looks like it's riding a little high i got my bubble level here so the other thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try doing my uh level mate pro and let's see what it says on the level mate how high it is okay it's saying it's saying it's three and a half inches high on the front. So it says it's pretty level on the back, on the side to side. So if you can see here that, you see how much room I have here? It looks like I could lower it one hole, which that's probably what I should do. I should lower it one notch uh, so it's not riding high. Because when it's riding high, that means it's putting more pressure on the rear axles. It's putting on the rear axles versus the front axles. But is that big of a is that that big of a deal? I don't know. Let's do a little screenshot here. That's that. Hmm. Interesting. I am auto level. We haven't auto leveled for a while here. Let's see. Oh, it might not. I might not have jacked it up enough. Could We're just out more. of practice. It bottomed out. It uh -oh. might not be able to come down enough. Oh, okay. it's going to be close. Okay, we've got to get used to using these jacks because we should have raised this jack a little bit more. We're so used to hydraulic leveling systems, we don't have to worry about this stuff. We had a slight hiccup. 
I don't know what it is with us and hiccups, but uh, this is our shakedown trip to Silver Springs. We only drove an hour, one hour, no boondocking, no ditches, no off-road, all highways, cement, everything. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. And guess what happened? Boom. That's the brand new TV. It looks like it got shot, hit, but when I came in to open up the slides, nothing was on the floor, nothing hit it. We kind of think what it is is because of the way it attaches to the back. You gotta kind of go like this and pop it off and then you click it back in like that. And did you see how it jiggled? <laughs> see? It's just basically, it's the cheap TV that comes with the RV and it, it like super flexes. So it's damaged on the inside. This is no, this is perfectly smooth. There's no broken glass, but Larry called GD. Yeah, so I've, you know, I figured what the heck, let me call Grand Design and this will be our first warranty repair. And I said, hey, we're just on our way to our first trip. We pulled in, pulled out the slides, we tried to turn on the TV, and this is what uh, showed up. I mean, nothing could have hit it yeah. while we were traveling. There's yeah. no object that could have hit it, and it looks like something, it looks like a baseball hit it right yeah. there, right yeah. there. And uh, so... There back. was no fight no. where I missed and hit the TV. <laughs> she was throwing stuff at me again. Um, but Amy, he just asked me to send him a bunch of pictures, and hopefully maybe they'll send us a replacement uh, TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, don't. Okay, we are at Silver Spring State Park. We're about to go check out the glass bottom boat, and we are here with Mary and Brad. You saw them together in Utah. They were our tourist guide, and this time we are the tourist guides for them. Doing one of our favorite things to do here in Florida at Silver Springs. State Get on the glass bottom boat, baby. So make sure you check out our video because we show you every single site of this gorgeous state park. And the glass my boat. Oh. And, the glass we, and the a canoe ride. Oh my God. I Where are we not going to do the canoe ride? <laughs> We're not canoeing. Close. That's too close. That's too close. <laughs> hey, buddy. See how they're just so used to people. Patho. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's skedaddle. That was good. We're not canoeing? That's Larry's right. very sad we're not canoeing. Oh. Sad face. And the dog's crying. We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> so how did our first shake out? I was calling it a shakedown, but a shake down. No, no, I didn't I don't want to be a shakedown. No, it's not a shakedown. Our first shakeout trip with our new rig. It was four nights at Silver Spring State Park. How'd it go, Larry? It went pretty good. Uh I would say that the rig is a little smaller than I even thought it was as far as storage and stuff like that go. We weighed on the way here and I'll have those results later, but um, we need to skinny down just a little bit more. Just a little. We've been downsizing constantly and, and I'm fine with that, but we're just glad that we were able to do this short little trip. It was only an hour away from our home base and it was a nice little test to see how we liked it. I'm kind of curious, does anybody else out there when they get a new RV do a quick close by shake down trip? Shake out trip? Shake out. What do you call it? Anyway, what do you guys call it when it's just that trip a couple of days and it's really just to work the bugs out in the RV and get it set perfect for your next real trip? If you don't do it, do it because we found out yeah. some stuff. <laughs> we always find out stuff when we do these shakedown trips. I called it shakedown, I guess. See? <laughs> <laughs>